welcome to another video. Sorry I haven't done one for a while, um, I've been really ill lately. As you can probably hear, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, and also, I've only got about nine weeks left, so yeah, I'll just, for everyone on Bump Watch, I'll just show you Bump. This is, this is Bump now, so yeah, we're almost baked, we're almost ready. Um, Corbin's just playing Simpsons in the background on my iPhone. So you're not going to make an appearance today, are you? No. No, he's good. Anyway, um, yeah, so I just wanted to share a few little bits that I've bought over, well, over a course of time, actually. It's not, I haven't really been buying anything lately. I've just not had the money. Oh, my friend, Trish, from Australia, my, one of my BB... The FFs, best friend forever. Um, she sent me because she sent me one of these before. Um, if you've never heard of this company, there's they're called um, uh, Biscuiteers. Biscuiteers. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, she sent me the shoes one before, which I've I've got. Sorry, up up here on my shelf, I've got um, the little box. And I've just used it for like my nail varnishes and things. But yeah, they're a really cool company. Check them out. I'll leave the link to their website. Um, so yeah, so your gift comes in a, a box like this. They do all different sizes. And basically they're like just the most divine things I've ever seen in my life. So, so you get this little card as well. And it's all nicely packaged. And also, um, on this card, with your first order, you get £5 off your first tin as well, which I think is really good. So, um, and obviously they, they send it, and they can send it with a message for you and everything. So, like I said, my friend Trish sent me this. This is the tea box, because anyone who knows me knows I love tea. And it's just amazing. I wanted to cry when I opened it. Because the last one I had was Little Shoes, and I got a cup with that one. This one's just all biscuits. But look how amazing are these. So, I've ate, I've ate quite a few of them, by the way. So, there was a spotted teapot, but um, but I ate it, yeah. And they taste amazing as well. Because sometimes stuff looks really good, but then tastes like crap. So, But these taste amazing. And look, you even get little... Corbin's just uh, playing on something there. And then you get little teacups too. So you've got, look, look, hang on. We'll do it. Oh, hang on, I need to switch hands. Look, little tea, little tea. Oh, they taste so good. They taste so good. But yeah, that's so like, because they are really pricey. That's why I was like, oh my lord, every time she sends one. Because um, they're not, I mean, they're not super expensive. But they're not mega cheap either. But then I think to myself, the fact you get a really nice box and they are really well done. And they're all like made by hand as well. So it, they're really special. And I think they're just such a lovely uh, thing to send someone. Because sometimes like you might be a bit stuck for, oh, what should I get a friend and something so I thought I'd show you this just because like for Christmas I mean it's such a cute little idea um especially if you can't bake because I think a lot of people assume that everyone can bake and some people just really can't so I mean these are perfect and I definitely recommend them but yeah like I said they you get you get a tin as well and for us girlies these are fabulous because you can use them for nail polishes everything so and um and yeah, they're just really cute and thoughtful. And there's all different themes. And you can even get them personalised as well. So, but yeah, thank you, Trish. You're the best friend ever. And I love these little tins. And they just, they make me happy. So, thank you. But yeah, they're just really cool. And I just thought I'd share them. Because, well, Christmas coming up as well. It's nice. Ni nice to give gifts. So. And nice to receive gifts. Really. But, um... Yeah, so as it's Christmas and the sparkly season is coming soon, I mean, I'm saying as it's Christmas, it's actually November law, but, you know, whatever. Um, in my head, it's already Christmas. I have a kid, so it's like, you're just like, Christmas already. But anyway, 
Um, I just wanted to show you some sparkling nail polishes. Um, first of all is Accessorize. I'd never had any nail polishes by them before. Um, and I spotted this one and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. I want it, I want it. Um, and they're only four pounds, but I didn't have the money. So, but I was with my lovely boyfriend, Barry. So, um, he, he got it for me. And I was like, I love you, I love you. But, um, yeah, it's really amazing. And it comes out quite thick as well. This one is the, it's colour shade number 43. And it's molten copper. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna try and hold it up to more than natural light, but it is. It's so pretty. Um, I wore it for. If you check out my blog, there's my Halloween post, and I'm wearing this, and I just absolutely love it. Um, I did notice it. It chipped a little quickly for my liking, but um, sometimes you find that with glitter varnish, but. And it only takes about two or three coats, and and it's really thick. But yeah, it's just really pretty, and I love the colour. So yeah, this is a nice sparkly one for Christmas. Um, classic pink fizz, which is uh, NP009. I think that's the number for this. But yeah, this is model zone. I'm a huge fan of model zone. But this is the pink fizz. I've worn this heaps of times. I think a lot of bloggers know about this already, and a lot of probably. YouTube people know about it as well, but if you don't, it's a really nice colour. It's like a pink, and um, it's great for using it over different colours as well. Just that, just at the end of your nail as well. It's really pretty, but it's kind of girly, but it's not too in your face. And lastly is the Magenta Divine, and I really love this because I love purple anyway. And that's like a again, that's model zone. And it's like a deep purple glitter. But yeah, so these are my these are my like free recommendations for Christmassy glittery nails. Because I think a lot of people always go for red, and obviously like this is a nice little variation on it. But yeah, Model Zone have got heaps of um, glitter nail polish. They're five pounds each. So um, but yeah, they are worth it, and you get you get a lot in there as well. But they do last. They're probably one of my favourite nail brands. But yeah, accessorise I was actually really impressed with. And look, that colour is just... I love it. It's gorgeous. But um, I also got... Um, I really like this. It's really lame. Scandalise. Yeah. Scandalise. Oh, how, how clever of Rimmel. Clever wording. Um, volume Flash. And this is actually on sale at the moment in um, in boots. I think it was like four pounds something. Um, but yeah, look how fat the wand is. Because usually, like, sorry, I've got nothing to compare it to. But look how fat that wand is. Um, I've got really straight lashes. My lashes are long, but they just go like that um, rather than curling in. Um, and this is amazing because it's really fat. So. I've noticed my lashes, they're still a little bit straight and I probably should use use a, a curler for them first to help that. But um, yeah, this is a lot better than my last mascara. But yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's not too clumpy either, like um, sometimes with fat brushes the mascara comes out really clumpy. But it's not at all. Yeah, it's called Volume Flash Scandalize uh, Mascara. And yeah, I think it's usually around six pounds, but even for six pounds, I think it's still really good. And I do, I love Rimmel's packaging. I love like the little crown and it's, it's not too fat, but it's just, it's a really good mascara. But, um, oh yeah, I just thought I'd share this a bit geeky, but, um, yeah, I went to the F and F, uh, clothing at Tesco event last night and there was a photo booth, and we had a a photo booth moment. This is me and um, some other bloggers. There's Claire, my bloggy buddy, um, from Rainbows and Fairy Dust. But yeah, we had a good time. But yeah, look, I think it's revenge that I got the F and F in my face because we're kind of blocking Melissa and in the background this is Claire's friend uh, Sarah as well she's a real sweetheart but yeah I think that was revenge we got F and F in the face 
for blocking the girls. But yeah, um, it was so much fun, and um, and yeah, I love. I think for any events, people, if you're having any press days and stuff like that, everyone should have a photo booth. They're really good fun, and it's really nice to see all these professional bloggers just be silly and just put on hats and things like that and just have a laugh but yeah so I had a really good night so thank you to Cloven at Tesco for the invitation it was it was such a good night I had so much fun but too much